Tonight News 4 is speaking to four of Jalen McKenzie's closest friends. The 14-year-old rising football star's death has made national headlines. Saturday, the Metro East boy was hit by a stray bullet while leaving a prom party. News 4's Kim St. Ange is here sharing Jalen's friends' heartache. Yeah, these four teens believe Jalen was going to help change the world. They call their group, including Jalen, more than just friends. They say they're brothers. And just like all of us tonight, they are still trying to process why this happened. This cell phone video shows the Jalen McKenzie these four friends say they'll remember. It's always funny. It's like fun to be around. Loved rap battles. And like most 14-year-old boys. I always wanted the girls. Always. <laughs> and wanted the new, new shoes and everything that came out. His talent on the football field and basketball court got him attention from colleges, including Mizzou, as an eighth grader. I was his quarterback, so all I know was throw the ball to Jalen. Something, something good gonna happen. He dreamed of playing in the NFL. His friends have no doubt he would have made it. Watch you as somebody that had a great future ahead of him. Sports aside. He took somebody who was really gonna make an impact on this city and like on this world. Jordan Pickett says Jalen was friendly and liked by everyone. It's heartbreaking for him he did to see his family, see his family in you know, the way they was hurt. Real bad. That party he was leaving Saturday with a girl who was also hit by a stray bullet was out of character for Jalen, Pickett says. He was not a party. He, he really was like, he was very humble and he always worked on his craft. This shooting, a scary reminder of how quickly a life can be taken. You got to do better. As a, the city just got to do better, too, to make sure they're looking out for each other. Pickett plans to wear Jalen's number six next year for football. That's in his memory. And by the way, at last check, the girl who was also hit by the bullet at that party is in serious condition at the hospital. Police tonight still looking for the person who pulled the trigger. Courtney, Steve. All right, thank you, Kim.